Welcome back everyone. You are listening to the Financial Freedom with Sandeep Anand and uh, this is my podcast for the month of November. One of my favorite months in a year. It's a uh, sweet November which is a month of festivities, holiday seasons, start of shopping sales uh, all around the world, time to shell out some money and it's also the start of the winter season in many parts of the world. As usual we'll have four sessions in my podcast starting with stock of the month or company of the month second is a money tip third is a book of the month and finally ends up with mastery tip a personal mastery tip i learned and this time it's pretty interesting so stay till the end stock of the month or company of the month and this time around i'm going to bring out one stock or a company that can play in all of the technology transformations we keep hearing the term digital digital and you know we we keep wondering how to uh, invest in a, such a company that spans across multiple arenas of the digital world like cloud gaming 5g artificial intelligence autonomous vehicles electric vehicles and so you know we have uh, that kind of a company that spans across that has a play in across areas and that is the semiconductor leader in the world it's nvidia nvidia has been a company which has been silently growing steadily and rapidly uh, with the size and uh, they recently were in news for two key acquisitions melanox a leader in interconnected data streaming and they also bought uh, that from arm uh you know they bought arm from softbank for 40 billion dollars so two key acquisition melanox and arm and arm's company's uh, chip designs are found in almost 90% of world smartphones so with 5g coming we know what to expect and the explosion of smartphones across uh, you know the growth story has been great across the world and nvidia is definitely going to benefit out of this so it was great two acquisitions it was in news and founded by the visionary ceo Jen and huang still at the hem and running this we can expect nvidia to be a super large company down the line now coming to money tip our financial history is something that directly shapes our personal relationship with money why does this matter because we all hold certain beliefs around money that's intricate in nature and our personal upbringing and family values play a significant role in that those who have watched their parents struggle with money and accumulate debt may have understandably adopted a fearful attitude around money we need to get rid of that that's a wealth tip today we need to understand that past is not the prelude when it comes to our future financial status the most important and number one limiting belief we all need to get rid of is our past and current financial status influencing our thinking and planning about making wealth in future so drop that past and drop the present the future might be completely different past is definitely not the prelude when it comes to financially what you can make third section is book of the month uh, which is a book called peak p e a k and it's secrets from new science of expertise and this is a book written in 2016 published in 2016 by a psychologist K Anders Eriksson who's very well known for his work and um, you know he has made a career of studying chess champions violins virtuosos star athletes and memory mavens so peak uh, condenses three decades of original research to introduce an incredibly powerful approach to learning that is fundamentally different from the way people you know traditionally think about acquiring a skill whether you want to stand out at work improve your athletic or musical performance or say like uh, help your child achieve academic goals erickson's you know the revolutionary methods that he talks about in this book it will show you path it will show you the way to improve how to improve at almost any skill that matters to you now finally the last session for the podcast which is personal mastery tip this time is little different i mean i thought i'll bring up three things that i learned from a ESPN Sports documentary series that I watched recently called The Last Dance featuring Journey of Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan in 90s. Many of us have grown through this era watching Bulls and Michael winning championship after championship. We have learned so many mastery tips from Jordan and uh, here are three distillations from the series I took away which might be proving useful. And the first one being, you know, Michael Jordan proved that success requires complete dedication. intense work ethics and continuous improvement over your game when operating at the highest level of competition and he keeps using this word in the documentary throughout about op- when you're operating at the highest level of competition everything has to be sacrificed to achieve that kind of a performance 
And the second tip I took away is uh, the championship mindset, the champion mindset rather. His mind mind was his biggest strength all through. He firmly believed, you know, he and um, nobody could compete with him and his team. And they maintained a champion's mindset all through uh, this tournament and championships. And uh, in fact, all through his career, no matter what the situation was, they went undeterred. Uh, you know, they had the undeterred self-belief and champion mindset, which is something we can all take away um, from Michael Jordan's career. Now, the third one is failure. Uh, you know, he's, he qualifies and failure is part of the journey to success and uh, should be accepted and celebrated as part of learning process. Now, uh, connecting to this, let me end my November podcast with a great quote from him, uh, which is known, which is very famous. You would have seen these posters, but let me reiterate. It'll be a great way to kick off your month. So he says, um, this is quote unquote, Michael Jordan. I'm quoting him. I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I have been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I have failed over and over and over again in my life and that's why I succeed. It's a beautiful quote and you know something I have it in my wall to daily look up and not consider failure as a defeat but failure should be part of the journey and part of the long learning process in life. With that great quote let me end my podcast. Hope you enjoyed. Meet you again in December. Thank you all.